EFI or disk is GPT partition and has an EFI system partition. Type disk management in the search bar and open it. So this is how you can verify that if your disk is GPT partitioned or not. As you can see this is the My System Partition C in which Windows 10 is installed. I have to save it from being delete. Don't delete it. Here is Partition 1 which is Windows Recovery Partition and I am going to delete it. Here is the Partition 2 which is Windows EFI Partition and 100 MB in size. I am going to delete it and increase the size of the partition to 200 MB. Partition 5 and 6 which is also Windows Recovery Partition, I'm going to delete it too. To increase the size of the EFI partition we need to take away space from the partition before, or, the partition after it. Everyone's partition layout will look a little different. When a hard drive is formatted in Windows, or, Mac OS it creates a hidden partition called EFI. Mac OS requires an EFI partition of 200 MB in size to install Mac OS. Now here starts my first step of the video. In first step I am going to perform this sub steps which is flashing on your screen. Enter Windows recovery mode for this type. Reset this PC in the search bar. In advanced startup option click restart now button. The computer will boot into windows recovery mode automatically. From choose an option screen select troubleshoot, advanced options, then command prompt. And your windows 10 computer will restart now. Choose an account to continue and enter the password for this account. Click continue. Once you launch command prompt tool, enter the following command. Type disk part and hit enter. At the disk part prompt, type list disk and hit enter. This will list all of the available storage drives. At the disk part prompt, type Select disk followed by the disk number, for instance, select disk 0. Disk part will confirm that the disk is selected at this point. Once a disk is selected, type list partition. This will list the current partitions on your drive. You'll be able to delete or modify these partitions from here, using the partition number in a later disk part command. At the disk part prompt, type select partition 2. Replacing with your partition number. Once a partition is selected type, assign, Windows will assign a drive letter automatically. At the disk part prompt, type list volume. Locate your chosen volume number. As you can see here volume number 5 with assigned drive letter F is Windows EFI partition of 100 MB in size. At the disk part prompt, type exit. It's time to create a copy or backup of EFI partition files in our Windows Partition C. For this type the following xcopy command syntax, which is coming on your screen. The xcopy command is the command used with the options in the following syntax to copy one or more files or folders from one location to another location. Now all of the Windows EFI partition files are successfully copied in the Windows Partition C with the name EFI.back. Let me show you the location of Windows EFI partition files where backup of these files is created. As you can see here is the backup of Windows EFI partition files created with the name EFI.back. At a command prompt, type, disk part and press enter. Sorry guys, before typing disk part command, first change the drive from C to X. You should type X colon and then press enter on your keyboard. At a command prompt, type cd space windows now we are in windows directory now type cd space system 32 type disk part command
Select Disk 0. Disk 0 is now the selected disk. Once a disk is selected, type List Part. Now Windows EFI Partition Files Backup is created. It's time to delete Recovery Partition 1. At the Disk Part prompt, type Select Part 1 to select Partition 1. As you can see here, Partition 1 is now the selected partition. At the Disk Part prompt, type Delete Part Override. As you can see here disk part successfully deleted the selected part. Now add the disk part prompt. Type select part 2. To select partition 2 to delete it. Partition 2 is now the selected partition. Again type delete part override to delete partition 2. Which is Windows EFI partition. Now add the disk part prompt. Type select part 5. To select partition 5 to delete it. As you can see here partition 5 is now the selected partition. Type delete part override to delete the selected partition. Again at the disk part prompt. Type select part 6. To select partition 6 to delete it. As you can see here partition 6 is now the selected partition. Again type delete part override to delete the selected partition. As you can see here disk part successfully deleted the selected partition. Now add the disk part prompt. Type list part. This will list the current partitions on your drive left. After deleting the recovery partitions and Windows EFI partition. Now type select part 3 also. To select reserved partition number 3. Which is 16 megabytes in size to delete it. As you can see here partition 3 is now the selected partition. Again type delete part override to delete the selected partition. Disk part successfully deleted the selected reserved partition. Type list part. This will list the current partitions on your drive, which is left after deleting the reserved partition. Now as you can see here partition number 4 is only left, which is the main windows partition C, in which windows is installed. Now I am going to recreate the windows EFI partition with increased size of 200 megabytes for installing Mac OS. Type the following command which is flashing on the screen to create the EFI partition of 200 megabytes in size. As you can see here disk part succeeded in creating the specified partition. Now type the following command which is flashing on the screen. Format. Quick for fast format. FS for the file system. FAT32 is the file system and name the partition EFI. As you can see here now disk part successfully formatted the volume. Now type list part to check the partition list, where you will find newly recreated Windows EFI partition number 1 with the increased size of 200 megabytes. Now type assign. Windows will assign a drive letter automatically to the Windows EFI partition. As you can see here disk part successfully assigned the drive letter or mount point. Type list volume to list all the available volumes on your PC. As you can see here in the available volume list the status of the volume 1 with the drive letter. E assigned. With label EFI. File system is FAT32 and the size is 200 megabytes which is hidden. Now type exit to get out of the disk part command line disk partitioning utility. Now it's time to restore the backup Windows EFI files from Windows Partition C to newly recreated EFI partition back to it. For this type the following command flashing on the screen. All of the backed up EFI files restored successfully. Now type exit to close the command prompt. Here ends the part 1, with step 1, with all sub steps performed successfully. Select continue to exit, and continue to windows.